Oh, thank you so much for tuning in. You are back with me. We are here with Strength in Education. I am your host, Dr. Karen Dukes. So listen, we are still celebrating Black History Month. And I know people say, Black History Month? It's Black History Year, but it's all good. But listen, I have invited some friends to help us celebrate, talk about some other things in Black History. So today, I decided, hey, let's talk about how this black history has affected different people, different children, what's going on with the children. You know, in the school systems, we talk about black history projects. So it's been so ongoing and so needed. And it's a very interesting topic, just interesting all around. Again, thank you so much for tuning in. All right, so I am here. I told you I have some special, special friends lined up. So I have a special guest right now. And guess what? A fifth grader. This fifth grader is so extraordinary. She has a lot that she wants to share with us during this Black History Month. So at this time, let's welcome Lydia. Lydia. Ooh, all right, girl. Hey. Hi. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm great, I'm great. Thank you so much for being able to come. Um, you know it's Black History Month and I know it's a lot going on. You're in school. Yes. All right, and tell us a little bit about you. Um, I am in fifth grade. Um, I'm 11 years old and I play a lot of sports and I'm in also a lot of clubs at my school. Wow, you hear that? How can a 11 year old fifth grader be involved in a lot of sports and a lot of extracurricular activities? But I know you can do it and I love it. You look great. And um, I just wanted you to share with us a little bit about, um, since it is Black History Month, and um, have you started talking a little bit about black history in school? Yes. All right. So are they are you are you expected to do a report or a project? What's um, going on? After COVID, um, we well during COVID, we could not do a we usually do a black history play. Um, it's called Color and Culture. Wow. Um, but since we are back in school now and COVID has wired down, um, we can do it in person again. Good. And now we have like third graders and fourth graders and fifth graders at our school participating and um, they have a bunch of roles and like beautiful, awesome black history um, people. Good. I like that. Beautiful, awesome black history people. This is coming from a fifth grader. I am so amazed. But listen, so you have a lot to um, talk about, but then I guess you had a lot of decisions to make to, to decide, hmm, who should you emphasize? Who should you do a black history project on? So did you choose one particular person you wanted to talk about? Yes. Um, so I would like to choose Nadia Santawa. Um, not many people know her, but she was um, a queen of the Ashanti people in Ghana. Wow. So how did you hear about her? So during the play, um, we got to view people that were, um, that were we were that we could be. Yes. And um, when I saw her, I did research on her, and I figured out that she uh, there was a war called. Um, the Ya Asantawa War of Independence, which was the British versus the Ashanti people in Ghana. And uh, she was a leader who fought against the British because the men would not fight. So she had to stand up and get women that wanted to fight and go against the British. Yeah. Girl, what a scholar. You must be um, like on the president's, the principal's list and everything at your school. Uh, You're getting there. That. That's okay. It's okay. But apparently you love to research. You love to read. Okay. You must love school. I like going to school. Yes. I can tell. I can tell. Well, thank you so much. You'll have to come back when you complete your research, your project, because I must see that. It was okay. very interesting. Actually, you just taught me something, and my listening audience, I know they're looking like, what? Let me write that down. Um, let, let me research more. And so I really appreciate that. So moving on outside of school, and I already know you must be a super daughter to your parents. I'm sure they're just so proud of you, but you mentioned you're also involved in a lot of um, sports. Yes. So what sports do you play? 
Um, right now, I am playing travel basketball and rec softball. Wow, what's rec softball? Rec softball is rec recreational uh, softball. It's like you can automatically get on a team and you can have a lot of fun with them. It's awesome, awesome. Good. You needed that. I appreciate that. I'm so glad your parents are keeping you involved and getting you out there because children really need the academics, but you need that recreation. You need that yes. fun to be well-rounded. I'm glad you're enjoying everything. So listen, sweetie, what really, because I, you know, I know you, I know your family, but I was so taken back. Um, a while ago, your mom posted something about you were at your school district office at a board member speaking. And I, I was looking at the information and I said, what am I looking at? So I'm like, I know that's not a child talking to these adults. It was so interesting. Please share with my listeners, what were you talking about at a school board me meeting? So, please. Um, I believe five to six kids got chose to represent a club at our school. Okay. Um, there are lots of different clubs. There's like a band, orchestra, chorus, but they chose me to do um, something called Young Ladies of Excellence, which is a group for young black girls like me to express themselves without being harmed or judged. Woo, girl, I was thinking, wait a minute, I met her, is this is a middle school talking? Honestly, I had to see the tape a few times and had to talk to your mom and I said, so your daughter's in middle school? I did, I was like, this is an elementary fifth grader talking? I, I was just taken back. But um, what a group. So again, say the name, Young Ladies. Young Ladies of Excellence. Of Excellence. So tell us, let's review that again. Exactly what were you telling the school board? I was telling them what it was like being in the group and what uh, we did and what I'm proud of and what I like about being there, about what comparing what it's like being there than yes. being in normal school. Wow, I'm just thinking with your life just as a young 10, 11 year old fifth grader, um, you said, you, I, I know you go to school, you have the, the sports and you have time to be a part of this club. That yes. was just like, wow, she has time to do that too. And so when does the club meet? Um, we meet one uh, every other Thursday. Okay. Um, from, 2.30 to 3.15. Wow, that is a nice extracurricular activity. I know your parents appreciate that. You're at school, you, you, you're safe, and you're doing something productive. So just briefly tell us, so when you go into the room, mm -hmm. the classroom yes. setting? Okay, so exactly what are you all talking about? Just share a little bit with us. What are you doing there? Um, our last lesson was about uh, something called microaggressions. Yes. Um, a microaggression is when someone is with someone, someone is like not being not trying to be racist, but they try to come out as racist. Wow. So you exposed to that now, even as a fifth grader. Yes. Amazing. But it's life, right? Yeah. And it's history. So you're learning some things. So what has stood out with you so far being a part of the group? Um, it's really cool to like see how these other black girls like me have such good like in stuff in common with me like um i learned that someone can do like double dutch and i don't know how to do double dutch right. <laughs> but they but i can like go to them and they'll teach me yes, because yes, yeah because some people might that are not young ladies they might not help me but i know if i can count on that group like wow. anytime i need them Awesome, awesome. And so how many teachers or sponsors are in there with you? Um, so we have two or three teachers. Good. Um, they're all black girls. And we even have, they even gave us like a t-shirt to wear every oh. meeting. And they also gave us a bag so that we can use it as a book bag. That's right, that's right. Yes. Wow. So while you're talking about that, and thank you for adding black girls, black teachers, or sponsors. So is there anything going on for the black boys? Yes, there is. is. It's something called GENTS. I'm not sure what it stands for. Okay. But they um, are taught to like um, be out there and don't, and like 
Hopefully speak to your be voice. proper and be yes. respectful. So that's what they're doing with the boards. Yes. And they even they even like get like extra recess time that they can like be um, athletic and such. Really? Things. Yes. I never heard of that, but that's excellent because I am about the children need extracurricular activities. They need something to be a part of, you know, because I'm thinking busy, stay busy, stay out of trouble. Yes. Especially with the boys in the news, there's a lot going on with young children or young boys. I woke up this morning to some more shooting that was going on somewhere at a mall and the kids were only like 15 to 17 years old. I'm like, why? So yes, I love hearing when there are groups and positive groups and clubs for the boys. But, but you as a young lady, thank you so much for being involved. And I'm glad you even know about that there is something for the young boys. Yeah. So I really, really appreciate that. Well, girl, you are busy. Thank you so much. Well, just stay busy as you are. And I'm sure I'm going to have to have you come back. I said I want to know more about your project. And I thank you so much for sharing. The name of the show is Strength in Education because we have to find strength and there is strength in education. And I'm really looking to showcase children like yourself to just tell us some good things that are going on because we can go on and on and on about a lot of the negative things in the news, but I'm going on the other end. I wanna find, and I'm sure you have a lot more friends that maybe can help me um, um, with the interviewing process and so we can showcase them here. The show is on YouTube and then we're putting some highlights on Instagram. And so it's all nice, it's all positive, but I want to be just as proud of you as your parents and grandparents, your family is. And again, I'd like to thank you so much. Thank you. Um, is there anything else you'd like to share with us? Mm. Oh yeah, um, my mom told me to tell you this. Um, so my great, great grandfather, uh -oh. um, his name was APT James. Um, he is from Trinidad and Tobago in the Caribbean. And um, he, I'm, I think that the British had like some control over Tobago in like the night, early 1900s. Um, so he uh, like was an activist and fought back um, against that and um, you know, doing good things, it'll, it'll awesome. come back to you. That's and right, that's right. He um, has a statue of him in Tobago. Really? And he um, also has a boat named after him traveling from, I think, Trinidad to Tobago. Wow. I am impressed. So whatever your mother said, you learned that information, didn't you, honey? Yes. You got that. So listen, wouldn't it be nice for you to go visit that one day? Yes. Yes. Well, you just keep reading, keep doing your reading, your research, make sure your, your brother and you have a little brother. So make sure he's keeping up like you. But girl, um, maybe you can do a project on him one day. It'd be nice if you can do a display on him. And so I see the display. I see another interview with you and your family and yes that i like to see your um great grandfather right great great grand yes. in in the history books i don't know what they're doing in that country but hopefully you know they're moving to that and a boat you said a boat is named yes. after him wow so you have to you know really get your research in and get those pictures and yes i can see a display board so make sure you keep that on the top of your list okay, so okay. you can also showcase him one day that's awesome. But again, thank you so much. I can just see me having like an all day, uh, an afternoon conversation with you. You're interesting. And you have some good history in your family. Make sure you treasure that and just love that. And I have a motto, parents are your first teachers. I'm so glad your mom told you that because that's what we're talking about. Parents are your first teachers. So she's giving you this exposure. You really need to know your history and I can tell you will know your history. I appreciate yes. that. But stay strong, have fun, have fun in school, keep learning, learn all you can, okay? okay. And again, thank you so much. So there you go, listeners. Woo, this is Lydia, a fifth grader. And I know you're looking at her thinking, fifth grade? Yes, 11 year old young lady that is making history and that's what we are about at this time so again we thank her and we appreciate you and listeners stay tuned in
Okay, I am back. Yes, strength and education. We're on the move this month. You know, I love, we love Black History Month. I meet so many people that are doing different things for their school, their jobs, their programs. Black history is just amazing. And I know what people say, one month, that's not long enough. 365 days is Black history. I believe that. So listen, I have another guest, another friend. We have here, we have Bryson, and he is here, he's in school, and he's been doing some awesome things in life already. And so let's talk to this new friend to see what's going on, okay? All right, Bryson, hello. Hi. How are you? Good. Good, good. Well, how old are you now? Five. You're five years old now? Wow, I remember when you were baby. Just a little baby boy, but you're growing up. And you're so fine, so handsome. You're looking good. So listen, I know you're in school. Let's talk about that. How is school? Good. It's good. What are you learning? Um, I'm learning about the Black History, and I have one thing that I have. A secret. You have a secret? Okay, I need you to speak louder and tell everyone your secret. We're all friends, okay? You can share that with me. Tell us. Um, there's a girl that I like. Okay. Well, you may be making history in your family at your age or school. Wow. Bryson, you scared me. I, I thought you were going to say something else or I was looking for you to tell me something about, you know, your, your history there in school, but good. And what else are you learning? Um, I'm learning to do the numbers over here with what I want. Okay. And the tens. The last thing I did is a zero up here. Yes. And, and then what's the next? The five up here, the five down here. And what does that then, mean? Then you put another row of it, and, and then you put. Just like a six up here. Yes. And then put a five. Okay. And now you gotta count the what the much that is, but you gotta bulk up the ten and you gotta go in the one space. Ooh, that's big. You said the one space. You learned that already? Are you in kindergarten or first grade? Kindergarten. Wow, you learned about place value in kindergarten? Good. Well, do you know what zero plus five equal? Um, five. Yes, it does. You are listening to your teacher. Mm -hmm. Well, how many teachers do you have? Uh, I have one and I really miss her. Oh. And she's my pre-K teacher. She's okay. really, really nice. A real nice pre-K teacher. Well, guess what? Each year you're going to learn, you're going to grow older, you, your grades change, and you're going to keep meeting more and more nice teachers. Okay. Okay, so that was pre-K. So now in kindergarten, you have another teacher that's teaching you more things. Thank you so much for going to school and learning all you can learn. So do you like math? Okay, so that's working with numbers. Anything else in math you want to tell me? Um, I know how to count by tens. No, not a five-year-old. Five-year-olds know how to count by tens? Then I go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Yes, oh, you are making history. Wow, five years old? And you gotta count by tens? That's excellent. Thank you so much for sharing that. You're making history every day, aren't you? And so what, okay, so that's um, math. And so you mentioned black history. Is your teacher talking about black history in the classroom? What did she say? Well, she says you gotta color the picture to what the people that are in black history. That's then right. We gotta color them, and then when we get on the, the rug and we 
talk about them and we watch videos about them. That's right. That's right. And I'm wondering if you can name some people. Has she told you anything about, mm, let's see, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.? No. You heard about him? Good. Did she show you what, a video or did you just have a coloring sheet? Um, we got the coloring sheet that we color and then we go on the carpet and then... Okay. Watch the video. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, do you remember one thing about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.? He marched it. And he and the people were marching for equal rights. So we, when he was fighting for equal rights. That's right. Bryson, you are listening. You are listening to your teacher. You're learning something. Yeah. Wow. Anyone else in black history or anyone else your teacher has taught you about? Rosa Parks. You don't know that lady. You heard about Rosa she, Parks too? Yes. She would go on a bus and she said it where the person was had to say because it said you have to say where the right you you can you can't sit by the right seat and she's and he's and the and the um the man said, you got to go back there, and she said no, and she said she was not getting out of the seat. That's right. So go back there. Are you talking about that? The, the bus driver wanted her to go sit in the back of the bus? I know. But what did Miss Rosa Parks say? She said no. That's right. Do you know why she said no? Because she was really tired. There you go. That T word there. She was tired. So she was thinking, no way, honey. I'm sitting up front. And that's what she did, didn't she? Then she went to jail. And then she got out of jail. And then she went. And the people and the person said, if you don't ride the bus, we'll be our company. Oh, wow. Bryson, thank you for listening. When your teacher is having story time, you are a good listener. Okay. Because I can, t you know why I know you're a good listener? Because you're telling me what you're learning. That means you listen, you're, you're learning something, and you can talk about it. You can share it. Have you told your mom, your dad, your grandparents the stories? Yeah. Good. Do you have some of those books at home too? About Martin Luther King Jr.? Okay. Wow, Bryson. Well, has your teacher talked about you doing a project? Maybe doing a poster on maybe a favorite person? We, uh, we got to dress up as the people. And we have to, and I'm going to dress up as Martin Luther King. No, out of all the people in history, you chose Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. You're going to dress up like him? Yeah. I can see it now, because you're already a sharp guy. So I can see it now. Your parents are going to put on what? You're going to wear a suit? Yeah. And what else? And we're going to put, we're going to put everything on that he is, has on. That's right. That's right. So you can look at one of Dr. Martin Luther King's pictures, and you can just dress like him. You already own some suits, don't you? Because you're a sharp guy. I've seen you in suits at weddings or just... Just special places. Your mother loves posting pictures. I've been watching a lot, you know, with you growing up. And so, woo! So you're going to do your project on Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And you're going to dress like him. Wow, I love it. So do you know anything about, he had a lot of speeches. He talked a lot. He had like, I have a dream speech. And, and, and he went to jail many times. And he went to jail many times too. You already told us Rosa Parks went. Did you tell us that? She had to go to jail? Yes. That was sad, wasn't it? Yes. But she got out. But she got out. That, so that was the good part. Yeah, right. So we get clapped on that part. So good. Well, I cannot wait for you to do your project, do your poster. I can I can see it now. Your mother taking pictures of you dressed up like Dr. Martin Luther King. You probably wear a hat. I think your daddy loves hats. Your mama loves hats, don't they? Yeah, and I wear a black suit. You're going to wear a black suit. That's right. That's right. Well, thank you so much for saying all of that. So now outside of school, 
What else? I know you go to church, you sing, you pray. What else going on with you, Bryson? Um, I go to school and because what else? I need to learn. That's right. That's why we go to school, right? Yes, that tell, tell my audience, we go to school to learn. That's for all ages, right? Yes. And what else you do? You go to church, you go to the, you go to games. Tell us. Um, the most game I like is the, is Sonic, but it's, it's two Sonic games. Oh, those are your digital games? You play those? This one is the most best game in the world. This one? Yes, okay, what about this one? The other one is like another one that okay. you can and you got to save the day and, and when you get to the final boss, you win the whole game. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. So mommy and daddy, they bought games for you to play? Awesome, awesome. So listen, I'm thinking about you being Dr. Martin Luther King. Martin, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was a preacher. He was a speaker. So I know you're going to be able to speak and talk like Dr. Martin Luther King. You're going to, you need to learn one of his, like a little bit of one of his speeches and say that because you can talk. Okay. And I can see you learning one of his speeches. Do you sing at all right now? I sing. You a singer? Okay, I'm trying to see. I don't know if Dr. Martin Luther King was a singer, but you're a singer. Do you have a favorite song you want to share with us? Um, I have one. I have a lot. I, honey, I know you have a lot. Because, honey, you have a lot in that little heart and that little head, don't you? I got a song what is coming a lot. Okay. Well, you want to share a little song with me? Okay. It's coming a lot. I'm having a thought. I'm coming straight in my heart. Because I'm coming for you, baby. I'm coming in right. I'm coming in fast, eh, eh, eh. I'm coming in fast. I'm gonna be in that face car. I'm gonna be in the World Cup ER. I'm gonna be world my my. I'm gonna be world what? I'm gonna be all we a. I'm gonna be a skate to all the a. I'm gonna be a ma a a a a a a a a. And wait, be be. I'm a baby. It's not okay. It's not my rama. I have to be in the bank. And those kids are paying me. The song I'm gonna be sweet. Oh no, I gotta go be green. I have my heart sleep. Woo! All right. Thank you. I knew you were a singer. Go ahead, Bryson. You're not shy, are you? You would just sing, and I think you would preach, and you would pray. Yeah. Uh oh. You know about that word? You know about pray? Prayer? Okay. What do you know about praying and saying prayers? Um, I know my grace. I know all the prayers. Okay, you know all of them. So, what is a grace? That's what you say before you eat or something? Yes. Okay. Because you pray over your food before you eat. What do you say? Um, God's grace and God's good. Well, thank you for our food. How sweet we are fit. It's Lord David. Amen. Amen. That's right. Thank you, young man. You better pray over your food and, and pray over your life. And I want you to keep me in your prayers. Would you pray for me and my program and my camera people? Thank you. You keep us in prayer. And look, I have a book. I need you to pray over my book, The Teacher and Me, because I've been a teacher for many years. And so I came out with a book. And then guess what, listening audience? Bryson has a book. He has like a handwriting journal. He didn't bring it, but we'll get it and we'll post it the next time. Okay, sir? Because I wanted people to know that's another part of your history. He's an author. He's an author along with his mom and dad and it is so special. What do you think about that? Good. Good. Sorry you didn't bring your book this time, but you bring it next time. You carry those books in the car with you. Okay. At least one of them, okay? Okay, well thank you so much for coming. Thanks for sharing and helping us with our Black History Moment. Because I told my listening audience, ooh, I have some friends that want to talk, 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 and share. And I wanted to spotlight you. And I just wanted to 
everyone to meet you because I know you and I wanted to share you with the world. Okay. Yes. But will you come back later another time and tell us some more history? Yes, and I know you will. And I'd like to thank you again. And my listening audience, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Stay tuned in because strength and education, this is what we are about. And listening at this young man, he is giving us some information. We can tell that one of my famous mottos, parents are our first teachers. We can tell his parents are really working with him, um, putting him in a good school and supporting everything he's doing. And it's just awesome. So we want to thank you again, Bryson. Keep being you. Keep learning all you can learn. OK, sir. All right, sir. And thank you. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Would you like for me to read some of those pages, Avery? Or you want to read to me? I want you to read to me. You want me to read it to you? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to read. You can talk about some of those pictures. Because you were amazing. I'm thinking a four-year-old telling me they would like to talk about dinosaurs. Girl, that was amazing. Did you know that? That's yes. special. How did you fall in love with dinosaurs? I like dinosaurs. Why? Because they were my favorite. They're your favorite? Yes. Wow. Let me grab a book or two to see. Did you know dinosaurs eat people? Oh, no. We, no, we don't want anything scary. I'm not really. I'm sorry. That's what the title says. Did dinosaurs eat people? Oh, we'll talk about that one later. You don't believe that, do you? Mm -hmm. I don't eat dinosaurs. Dinosaurs don't eat people? And do people eat dinosaurs? No. No. That's ridiculous too, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Okay, so what is your book? Are we ready, Emily? Okay. So, what happened to the dinosaurs? Ooh. I found this book for you because, girl, you're making ah. history. You are making history. Did you know this was February, Black History Month? Yes. I'm looking at your shirt. Woo! And I'm sorry. And so, audience, my listening audience, I have another friend here. And guess what? Four years old, and she loves dinosaurs. And when I, when she told me that a few weeks ago, I said, dinosaurs? A four-year-old girl? How old are you now? Four. So you are four years old. I didn't say that wrong, did I? No. No. Woo, girl. So I was thinking, let me, you know the Dr. Dukes, doctor, the, the teacher in me. I said, woo, let me pull out some dinosaurs books for my little girl. And her name is Avery. Yes. And you look so cute and pretty today. You do? Yes. Who picked out your outfit? Um, I, I picked it out myself. You picked it out yourself? What, what were those clothes at? Hanging up in your closet? Yes. Girl. And I need those boots. No, I, no. I've seen boots like those, but not with a bow on the back. So I, I'm going to find out what size are they. You think you can give those to me? I think they're nines. Oh, the boots are nine? I think so. Okay. You know what size you wear? Okay, good. Okay. Well, again, girl, I want to thank you because didn't last time I saw you, didn't I say I want to interview you? I yes. said, woo, I want to talk to you on my camera. And you said yes. Didn't you say yes? Yes. All right. And guess what? You're here. You made it. The name of my show is Strength in Education. This is real. You're going to see yourself on YouTube. Mommy's going to show you some pictures. You're sitting with her favorite Dr. Dukes. And you're going to love that, aren't you? Yes. Yes. All righty. So you're still turning pages? Yes. Okay. You see a lot of dinosaurs? A tiger. Oh, what about the tiger? Do you like tigers? No. Why? I like tigers a little bit sometimes. Just a little bit, just sometimes, yeah. I got it, I got it. Well, girl, you are helping me make history during this month because for you to be four years old and talking the way you are talking, I am amazed. You heard me? Yes. Okay. You're just looking at those dinosaurs. Let me see. Did I find our favorite, favorite book? 
I think we did. So let me look at your book because you are just going on and on and on. Let me see those pictures and I'll read a page or two. And so this one says dinosaur days. Do you know how to spell dinosaur? Um, no. Well, guess what? What? Four-year-olds, you basically can read and spell. You can just read the letters that you see. So dinosaurs begin with what letter? D. That's right. So you, what's the next letter? L. Okay. So um, this one is D I. D. It looks like an L, but it's an I. And what else? A. O. S. A. U. R. Girl, guess what you just did? You spelled dinosaur. That's how you spell it. Yay! Give yourself thumbs up, girl. <laughs> you know what else I like to tell children? When they do something great, I say, kiss your brain. How do you do that? Do this. Kiss your hand. Now kiss your brain. You just kissed your brain. Isn't that cute? Yes. Yes. Okay, so let's look at this. There are no dinosaurs today. Uh -oh. So you're not going to see dinosaurs running around, okay? Not even one. But sometimes people find dinosaur bones. Since you love dinosaurs. <gasps> the bones are like parts of a puzzle. <gasps> you see that? Yes. And when they are put together, you can see what a dinosaur looked like. It looks like a dinosaur. Yes, you guys see that? This little four-year-old is intrigued with dinosaurs. I couldn't believe it. Let's look at a few more. The word dinosaur looks hard. They're saying that because it's a big word. You is see that long word? But you spelt yes. it. You spelt it. But it is really easy to say. Say dinosaur. Dinosaur. That's right, and that's the word. <gasps> Dinosaur means a terrible lizard. Did we know that? Yep. Cool. Look at these pictures. Millions of years ago, the world belonged to the dinosaurs. The dinosaur eggs. Who you fell in love with. So amazing to me. So in the days of the dinosaurs, there were no people, no dogs. Uh -oh. You know what dogs are or cats? No horses, no cows. There were only dinosaurs. Look at that. <gasps> They're just dinosaurs. Yes. And what animals were there? They, we had turtles. Had you seen a turtle before? Yes. Okay, look right here. Crocodiles. Mm -hmm. You've seen all these in your books and pictures at school? It's a big crocodile. You like those too? Yes. <gasps> fish? I like fish. Girl. I you... went to the aquarium before. Oh, you've been to the aquarium? That's why you know these little sea animals. Have you eaten any fish before? No. Uh, think about it. Think, think hard. You have eaten some fish before. I eat chicken before. Oh, just chicken? And fish. And fish, there you go. So you have eaten some fish before. Yes. Yes. So look right here, dragonflies. What is that? A dragon that looks like a fly? Or a fly that looks like a dragon? A dragonfly? Yeah. You didn't see that at the aquarium when you went? Look at that audience. You didn't see that? I didn't see that. No. And what else? The world was very warm and very wet. So it just talks about dinosaurs, dinosaurs, dinosaurs. Oh my Lord. And this may be the last one. Let's look at this. Have you seen this one before? No. Guess what? The name is the Brontosaurus. Brontosaurus. And it means thunder lizard. That's a lizard? Yes. When the brontosaurus went walking, it's a great big feet made a noise like thunder. 
Brontosaurus ate plants, lots of them. So look right here, our last page. You see how that dinosaur, the Brontosaurus, is eating plants. That's what it does. And you're going to learn a lot more about dinosaurs because girl, look at these books. There's so much information about dinosaurs. And again, I want to thank you for coming and having this history talk with me because black history is so important. And I said, look at all these little children in the world I know that's making history. 21st century little children making history during black history. Because girl, you are the first four-year-old to tell me that you love dinosaurs. And I didn't forget that, Avery. My, my Auntie Quisha's daughter loves dinosaurs too. Uh oh, you know someone else who loves dinosaurs? Yes. Do you know how old the little girl is? Um, Joy is probably four. Oh, she's four. She, that means she's your age. So good. So we'll get her next time. We'll talk to her next time about what's going on and um, why she loves dinosaurs. Joy likes dinosaurs like me. Good. I'm glad both of you girls like dinosaurs. You just keep reading, yes. keep looking at these books, keep learning all you can learn because when you're in school, you have something to talk about. I know your teachers or teachers love you, little girl. You learning all you can learn in school? Yes. Good. Thank you so much. I want to thank you again for coming to see me. I'm Dr. Dukes, and I'm the host of this show, and it's called Strength in Education. And you made my day by coming and sharing with me about your dinosaurs during Black History Month. I really love you, and I appreciate you. Okay? Okay. Okay, thank you. And audience, that's it for now. That was another one of our special friends. Thank you. All right, thank you so much for tuning in. Didn't we have a great show? It was awesome. I love talking history. I love talking black history. Yes, I know some people say, what? Black history, that's 365 days in a year. But listen, as we move on, as you move forward, enjoy your history. Please, parents, children, expose your children to any and everything outside of your home. They're getting a lot in school, but parents is still up to you because what do I say? Parents, you are the first teachers. I love you guys, I thank you. So listen, at this time, I want to just remind you, the show Strength in Education. We are now on IG, that's Instagram, and we have our own YouTube channel. Please tune in, like, share, and what else? subscribe. We really appreciate it. So listen, at this time, we're going to do our giving Saturday or our giving time, our giving day. Okay. So I'm going to be out in the community, possibly a mall, just giving you a little hint. And I'll be looking for parents, but really looking for fathers that are doing something extraordinary with their children. I'll just be looking to see who catches my eye, the way they're communicating, interacting with their families. And we have a surprise for you. So stay tuned in. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Bye. Bye.